Thank you so much, Bishop Brooks. You may be seated in the house of the Lord. If you have your Bible, turn to Psalm 18. The psalmist says he's going to initiate four strategies that will enable him to overcome his circumstances and his challenges and his problems. And I believe if we'll initiate those four strategies in our lives, the Lord will bless us to overcome those things that might come against us. He says in verse 1, I will love you, O Lord, my strength. The Lord is my rock and my fortress and my deliverer, my God, my strength. So the first thing he said he was going to do is that he was going to love the Lord. I'm going to love him. I'm going to love him no matter what I'm confronted by, no matter what temptations I may be confronted by, no matter what tries to pull me away from the Lord, I'm going to love you, O oh Lord. And so would you lift your hand and say, I will love you, O oh Lord. The Lord wants our love more than he wants anything else. And if he has our love, there's nothing that he will not do for us. And then in the latter part of the verse number two, he says, in whom I will trust. And that was his way of saying, I'm going to trust in the Lord. Trust in the Lord with all your heart, lean not to your own understanding. In all your ways, acknowledge him, and he shall direct your paths. And so we just lift that hand again and say, I will trust the Lord. Said, in whom I will trust my shield and the horn of my salvation, my stronghold. And then strategy number three, he said, I will call upon the Lord who is worthy to be praised. People are calling upon their resources. They are calling upon their material goods. They are calling upon their associates. They are calling on their friends. But how many of you are going to call on the Lord? Listen, if you call unto him, he will answer you. And Jeremiah said he will show you great and mighty things which you do not know. And in the latter part of verse 3, he launches strategy number 4. For he says, so shall I be saved from my enemies. And that was his way of saying, I will be saved. If I call, if I trust, if I lean and rely upon the Lord, if I love the Lord, I shall be saved. But then it's also prophetic. He was just saying that, listen, I'm calling, trusting, and relying on God and God is not going to let me come to destruction. God is going to see to it that I am saved. But then that third or fourth strategy was a statement of his determination. I made up my mind just to be saved. Listen, if there be a willing mind, the Bible says it is acceptable. And the Bible also says it is God that works in you both to will and to do of his good pleasure. And I just want you to know the same God that gives you the will will give you the ability to do what it is he has given you the will to do. Philippians 1 6 says, being confident of this very thing, that he which hath begun a good work in you shall perform it until the day of the Lord Jesus. And so would you lift your hand and make those four affirmations with me. I will love the Lord. I will trust the Lord. I will call upon the Lord. And I shall be saved. Listen, you don't have to be in doubt about your salvation or in doubt about your destiny. If you love God, trust God, call God, God will take you through. God will bring you unto himself. Is there anybody here who has a made-up mind? Paul said, I'm determined that none of these things shall separate me from the love of God that's in Christ Jesus. And so just tell three people, be saved, be saved, be saved, 
Clap your hands and give praise unto the Lord.